2016 Wine Grape Prices presented by Tom Zavadel, Jenny Schoonmaker, and Brad Boffman. This presentation was made at the Southwest Michigan Horticultural Days at Lake Michigan College on February 1, 2017, and this video is being prepared so that growers may have a reference to the materials presented. The objectives of this presentation were how do the grape prices received by a Michigan wine grape grower compare to those received by other Michigan growers? Number two, how do wine grape prices for Michigan grapes compare to those in New York, Ontario, or other areas? And number three, how much have Michigan wine grape prices changed in the last five years? We acknowledge those Michigan growers who took the time to respond to our survey for 2012 and 2016 Michigan wine grape price data. And we do thank Miss Jenny Schoonmaker who brought all these materials together and was largely responsible for the preparation of this PowerPoint presentation. Jenny is a research technician for the viticulture program at Michigan State University's Southwest Michigan Research and Extension Center, and she's quite an athletic person. This is Jenny on her lunch hour out in the vineyards, practicing pole vaulting in an effort to become a member of the U.S. pole vaulting team. So we just thought we'd mention that in passing while we go on with this presentation. The information in this presentation is for general educational purposes only. Statistics presented here were not derived from statistically reliable sampling techniques and are not endorsed by Michigan State University or the authors. Well, let's get started. And before we focus on Michigan grape prices, we thought it would be interesting to look at the situation out in California in the prestigious Napa Valley area and we were able to obtain prices not for 2016 but 2015 and we thought we would use those just as a way of introducing the topic of grape prices. So here we go. I should mention before we get started with all the numbers that you can stop this video at any time by hitting the pause button in the lower left hand corner of your screen and then you can look at the prices before proceeding on with the rest of the presentation. We're going to read the average price per ton for varieties in Napa County in 2015 and we're going to leave it to you to read the price range. These price ranges are quite large and I don't really know why but I conjecture that it's because at times, wineries in the Napa Valley area are selling grapes from their vineyard operation to their winery operation, and the prices that are extremely high or low may be somewhat artificial, but that's just conjecture. But the average price per ton that we present here uh, is a very real number and useful in comparing Napa Valley to what we do in Michigan. So let's get started. Chardonnay, average price $25.92. Sauvignon Blanc, average price $2,012. Syrah, average price $3,224. Pinot Noir, average price $2,713. Merlot, $3,135. Cabernet Sauvignon, 
average price six thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars and I have no idea how or why or whom would pay forty eight thousand dollars for one ton of grapes well you might wonder wow those prices are pretty large so I used some information that I got online to express the economics of the Napa Valley area and this is unbelievable but if you could find open plantable land in the Napa Valley apparently it will cost you anywhere from hundred and thirty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars per acre for that land and if you were to find vineyards for sale the average price of those would be two hundred and fifty thousand to three hundred and seventy thousand dollars per acre should you decide to build a house there or to build a winery a building site and I don't know the size of that site is suggested to cost anywhere from one million to five million dollars so yes indeed the economics of the Napa, Napa Valley area are very much different than what we recognize and we experience in Michigan. Let's move on. The 2016 Michigan grape prices for hybrid varieties as reported by growers in our survey are as follows. Becca Noir $700 average. Cayuga White $688. Chambersin, $859. Chancellor, $717. Chardonnay, $675. Deshaunac, $475. Frontenac, $675. Frontenac Gris, $500. Continuing on with the hybrids, La Crescent, $600. Marichal Foch, or simply Foch to many people, $780. Marquette, $1,013. Rujan, $500. Saval Blanc, $750. St. Croix, $850. Tramonette, $842. Velvin Muscat, $1,183. Vidal Blanc, $717. And Big Knowles, if you take a simple mathematical average of those average prices for all those hybrid varieties, it comes out to $745 per ton of hybrid grapes. Well, moving on to the Vitus vinifera varieties for Michigan prices, we have uh, Albarino at $2,000. We have Cabernet Franc at $1,838. Cabernet Sauvignon, 2067. Chardonnay, 1658. Gewürztraminer, 1800. Gruner Veltliner, 1700. Lemberger, 1950. Malbec, 2000. Merlot, 2057. Continuing on. Pinot Blanc, 1600. Pinot Gris, 1639. Pinot Meunier, 1400. Pinot Noir, 1820. Riesling, 1588. Sauvignon Blanc, 1700. Syrah, 2100. Tempanillo, 2200. And Zweigelt. 1500. The simple mathematical averages 
of those average prices for Vitus vinifera in 2016 in Michigan was $1,812. This is one page of a document that's printed by the Ontario Grape Growers Association and this happens to be one for Pinot Noir and I have highlighted in yellow the base price at 21 bricks and the price in 2016 was two thousand and one dollar now these prices are for Canadian dollars and for metric tons so what we've done is to convert their prices for their base price for 21 bricks for all the varieties I'm about to report to you so all of them are for 21 bricks and they're all converted to US dollars for one US ton of grapes here we go we're just reporting and they only apparently grow and report out Vitus vinifera once again at 21 bricks Riesling 1466 Chardonnay $1,272 Gewürztraminer $1424 Pinot Gris $1497 Sauvignon Blanc $1475 Muscat Antonelle $1511 Viognier $1,162. Cabernet Franc, $1,398. Cabernet Sauvignon, $1,563. Merlot, $1,538. Pinot Noir, $1,661. Syrah, $1,906. And the simple mathematical average for all of those Vinifera varieties in 2016 for Ontario is $1,489 and that is the comparable simple average for Michigan reported at $1,812. Moving on to New York and the Finger Lakes region, by law all wineries all processors must publish a price around August 15th I believe it is and so here is one part of a listing and you can see for example if I go down to Gruner Veltliner uh, there was a price of 1600 and 1500 and in the right in the shaded column there is the average price paid for that grape in that year of 2016. So we're going to report just those average prices and you can look for yourself the the range of prices uh, as we have them listed. So here we go. For the hybrid varieties first, Cayuga White 572, Chardonnay 750, La Crescent, 725. Traminette, 850. Velvin Muscat, 856. Vidal Blanc, 641. Continuing on with the hybrid reds Chancellor, 733. Frontenac, 800. Marquette, 800. And the simple mathematical average of those average prices per ton. For the hybrids, $747. Moving on to the vinifera in the Finger Lakes region. In 2016, Chardonnay average price $1377. Gewurztraminer $1688. Gruner Viltliner $1550. Muscat Antonelle $1550. Pinot Gris one thousand seven hundred and thirteen dollars moving on to the red vinifera's Cabernet Franc 1573 
1700 for Cab Sauvignon, and for Lemberger, 1433, Merlot, 1872. The simple mathematical average for those average prices per ton, $1,606. So we've put here for Vinifera only the comparison of those three regions, Michigan, Finger Lakes, and Ontario. Cab Franc, 1838 was the high for Michigan, and we'll just say that the high price paid will be in yellow as we report it, and we're not going to say the prices all across. We'll just call it by variety and you can read them for yourself. Cab Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Gewürztraminer, Gruner Veltliner, Lemberger, Merlot, Pinot Gris, Pinot Noir, Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Syrah. And here, the summary of all those numbers we just gave you, and you can see that the Michigan prices were higher for all varieties with the exception of Pinot Gris in the Finger Lakes. Now we're going to compare the hybrids for just the Michigan and Finger Lakes New York regions. Vidal Blanc, Frontenac, Marquette, Traminette, Velvin Muscat. The simple mathematical averages of those five varieties that those regions have in common 886 for Michigan and 789 for the Finger Lakes, or about a hundred dollar difference per ton. If we look at Michigan grape prices and ask ourselves how much have they changed over the past five years, we have from our grower survey data the following information. Becca Noir, a minus 30% change, and you can just read those for yourself as far as percent change in the past five years. Cayuga White, Chambersin, Chancellor, Chardonnay, Deshaunac, Marichal Foch, Marquette, Rougeon, Savelle Blanc, Traminette, Valvin Muscat, Vignol. If we look at the comparison for the Vinifero varieties, they are as follows Albarino, Cab Franc, Cab Sauvignon. Chardonnay, Gewürztraminer, Gruner Veltliner, Lemberger, Malbec, Merlot, Pinot Gris, Pinot Meunier, Pinot Noir, Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Syrah, 
So I killed. So I hope some of these price data uh, are of interest and useful to your thinking about the value of grapes in Michigan and as they compare to prices in neighboring Ontario and New York. And the bottom line is this, that the price of grapes needs to reflect profitability for both the grower and the processor, the buyer and the seller. So if it isn't true that both entities can realize a profit in their businesses, then the whole industry is at risk. We don't suggest these prices are good, bad, adequate, excessive, inex uh, unacceptably low, anything like that. But there needs to be a balance between the profitability for growers and the profitability for wineries. And to that end, we thought it would be time to share some of these data to prompt our thinking where we're headed in the years to come. We thank you for your attention.